Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite series here on YouTube, Guess the Elo. Now I know what you're thinking, Levy, what the hell was that title? Did you clickbait me again? No. There's actually some great news. That great news is the fact that Lucy and I are going to get married. I tweeted about this earlier today, and if you want to know the origin story of our relationship, I talked about it with Sagar Shah in our podcast episode on the Gotham City YouTube channel. Now you also know I have a podcast and Eclipse channel, all in one. And uh, before we jump into the games, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Babbel. You probably know me from my chess content, but you should know that I love learning new languages. It's the first step that you can take to immersing yourself in a certain culture. And so Lucy and I have actually started learning French together. And Babbel makes learning French and many other languages super fun and easy to do. The thing I like the most is the real world conversations in the apps. You can simulate talking through being at the grocery store about food. You can talk about travel. You can talk about relationships. There are multiple ways to learn in the app. Like you could just watch the videos, but also there are fun practice games. And there's podcasts in the language that you're trying to learn. And the lessons are actually the most interesting part because they're short, about 10 minutes, very interactive, and they're made by real language teachers who are taking their classroom experience and putting it on the app. There's no AI that's making you simulate Donde esta la biblioteca? Like 47 times in a row because it can't program a new sentence. So Babbel has an extraordinary amount of features. I highly recommend it to you. Go click the link in the description. You can get 65% off a Babbel subscription today, and pretty soon, you're gonna be sounding like J'adore Babel, ça facilite l'apprentissage. All right, let's get back to the video. D4, we're off to a good start. Knight to F6, that's what I play. C4, E6. Okay, okay, a little feisty. Okay, okay, B5. All right, Benoni, I don't hate it. I don't hate... Now let me, let me ask you a question. You have an option to move your pawn to d6 and put the bishop like a normal f in person on this diagonal. And instead, you play the snake Benoni. What are you, Kevin Durant? I'm just kidding. Kevin, if you ever watch the stream, I'm just... I would love to collab with you, man. Like, it would be an honor. I'm just joking, because that's what they used to call you when you... I, I'm really sorry. All right, please don't attack me. Um, yeah, anyway, well, I don't know why you're playing the snake Benoni. By the way, this is called the Snake Benoni because the bishop comes around this way. Uh, and then you, yeah, I, anyway, let's see if you know what you're doing. Castles, okay, e4, very nice. Rook e8, bishop d3, bishop c7. Okay, I'm really shook because these players actually know their theory. This is terrifying. Why do these people know what they're doing? Knight d7, okay, bishop g4. So the, the, they're fighting for the dark squares, and actually this bishop will come around, knight d7. Um, okay, take it. Wait, did, did you just send me a game between GMs? Why do these people actually know what they're doing? You've won the battle for the central dark squares. Now you will create counterplay on the queen side or with the move c4. It's actually a very fluid and interesting position. Knight e5, bishop a5, okay. Now, white taking everything makes me think white is the lower rated player. Oh, okay, well, yeah, okay, well, well, black is awful at chess. Okay, so, black fake knowing anything about this opening. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just, I mean, like, what? No, no, you need to do this. You have to do this. Maybe white was afraid of, uh, black was afraid of, like, f4. I don't know, but that's never scary. Um, D, e, I mean, yeah, well, okay, okay, so the, 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 that was a joke that black knew anything about chess. Um, yeah, black is probably, like, 300. <laughs> just like cheated using the opening book during the game no i'm i'm kidding uh if black is smart now they're gonna reroute their knight to d6 wow oh they hung the knight <laughs> just, just, just just like yo i gotta stop knight f5 by hanging my knight in one move yeah that happens yeah do happen that do happen that do happen that do happen um but all right you know, little, little tunnel vision never hurt anybody. Oh my god. Imagine playing g6 to prevent knight f5 and losing your knight in the process, only to completely allow knight f5 again. Okay, of course it doesn't happen. What are we- what are we- what is this? What, what are we doing here? Oh, was black setting a trap? Is that what black was trying to set up? Like, oh no, my pawn. But white doesn't even- <laughs> Yo, this is straight up like having like two broken arms and trying to get into a fist fight with somebody. 
Like, I don't know what Black is doing. I mean, Black literally has two broken arms. They got two arms and slings, and they're still trying to get into a fist fight with somebody. And White just is like, yo, I don't want to fight the guy who has uh, both arms um, in the cast. Okay, the bishop should just be taken. The queen cannot protect both things. Naturally, okay, now the knight's gonna, yeah, that's, okay, all right, okay, all right. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. What are the chances White doesn't see that? Ha oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Apparently, this is a draw. That's crazy. No way Black plays that, right? Oh! Oh! And Queen D7, obviously, because White's like, oh, stupid guy, and now White's gonna get mated, right? Oh my god. What is... What is what does that even pretend to do? What what is F3? I mean, I know it's a top engine move, but you gotta give a check or something. What is F3? It's so feeble. Okay, you gotta give checks, y'all. Yeah, gotta give checks when you're checkmating someone. The hardest thing to realize here is, is the sequence goes queen, then rook, then queen, and then queen again. It's hard to alternate them. That's what's hard. So you're gonna play GF3 and now blunder a queen trade. Now you're losing again. Oh my god. Oh my god, now you're losing again. Oh my god, now you're losing. Oh, 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 for stalemate. Oh, oh my god. Yo, that's some genius stuff right there. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. And, and white doesn't even fall for it. Oh, well, that's not stalemate. That, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that. Why is my thing lagging so much? You see that? My thing was, like, lagging. That was so strange. Why are you lagging? What's wrong with you? Stop lagging. Um, that was a crazy game. Um, there's no way they're 1,200. I'm going to say between 15 and 1,600. No, 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 no. The, if you're 1,900 and you play G6, now, if they're any higher than 15, 1,600, it was a bullet game or a three-minute game. Um, if uh, G6 is like the sign of like a panicking 1,400. So I want to say 1,500, like high 1,400, like fifth, low 1,500. 14, 14, mm, now, I'm going to say 15 to 1600. They played way too well in the opening to be, like, low rated. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. <clears throat> I got to recrop my screen a little bit. It's been a little while. All right, let's take a look. Um, wait, I got, sorry, a little delay here. Cropping on the fly. All right, here we go. Yo. Wait. White is rated 2048? And black is rated 1100? Wow. Okay, well, given... Here, here's me being a detective. Since white has streaming in their name, white is probably a streamer. I know, shocking. And probably black was a viewer. So when G6 was played... When was G6 played? When did the blunder of the piece happen? Probably white was like, oh, look, they blundered G6. So I, I, I don't want to take that. Instead, I'm going to go here. I want to give this... Or, or, or white, is, white is just not... Wow. I'm also shocked that black is 1100. How is black 1100 and knows openings that well? That doesn't... That... I don't... Was black just like looking at an opening course while they were playing? That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I don't understand anything about this. Um, so congrats. I'm very... I'm, I, I'm completely baffled. I would love to see the debate in the YouTube comments over this game. Um, or Twitch. Okay, game number two. 
um see yeah guys please keep the rating requirement like the the, the boundary between two and three hundred points like please i mean please thank you okay so in english oh no not, not in, oh a dutch okay maybe not a dutch maybe just two people moving pawns okay good why why did you play that that doesn't even begin to make sense that move doesn't make any sense i don't know why you would ever play this this is just silly but okay you know more about chess than me um okay you just hung that you just you just hung the pawn listen you can open the h file if you have any hope of creating an attack i'm just now you gotta now let me ask you a question why would you knock down the the wall of your house and like put your like bedroom window there you know what i mean like at least make it your living room and maybe you can go outside and get some fresh air but if you gotta sleep there won't it get cold i mean i just i don't know now black should just bring all the pieces that's what yeah okay well i mean j j this person's barbaric approach to the game makes me think like 900 you know like 900 probably d5 good now does white see this is a question Oh, this game's gonna get crazy. Oh, both sides are gonna be losing in this game for sure. Okay, here we go. Bishop h3. So it's a draw. Uh, it's a draw after queen d8, rook f8, you lose the queen. So check here, check back. Because if king to g6, just assume that's bad. I don't know. Yeah, actually, wait. Also, can't you just block with the knight? Why does the end? Oh, because queen h2. Okay, computer knows nothing about chess. Queen g3. Rook g6. Okay, so black just hangs the bishop. Nice. Knight d7. And, and, oh, that is tricky. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's tricky. So now we go here, attacking the rook. The rook immediately pins us. But now white is like, I can take the knight. So takes. Uh-huh. Check, because you gotta. Wow. En passant. Gotta be played. Yes, very good. Horrible move, by the way. Queen g3 zeros because you can force a draw with rook h2. But no, I mean, you gotta, you gotta play on passant. Like, it doesn't matter if it's not possible. Thank you. Thank you. That's a massive donation. YouTube can't hear it, but because um, the TTS gets taken out. But somebody just donated $100 and congratulated Lucy and myself. Because we're going to get married. But you, you know that because you're subscribed to Gotham City, right? On YouTube, where the clip of this announcement will get uploaded. Right? Okay, fantastic. Queen H4. Um, you got to put something here. So luckily, this somehow doesn't lose a queen because you can go here. Oh, that happened. Queen E2. Um, yeah, you guys have to... You, Twitch, how did you not know this? You, you, we've been talking... The stream is called Celebrating... We've talked about it the entire stream, and I made a tweet about it. Like, what is... Y'all... Y'all... Y'all silly, man. All right, now, just the bishop up endgame should be effortless, right? Develop the bishop, double up the rooks, trade the rooks, go win the pawn, promote. All right. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, beautiful. I love it. Okay. Yep. Is this game just going to be an effortless conversion, or does stupid stuff happen? Okay. Nice good oh this is kind of boring i mean this oh oh no no okay this pawn has been stopped okay uh-huh uh-huh almost stalemate but checkmate at the end nice nice okay um wow uh i don't have a lot to work with this game i don't have a lot to work with in this game um, sorry that I'm Mr. Twitch. That's all right, Bokshoi boy. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you. And you can get your courses 33% off until the end of today. YouTube won't get it because it's November 15th at the time of recording. So at the time of this day, you have three more hours to use code New York and get 33% off. Um, yeah, so the opening was atrocious. The blunders were pretty bad, but, you know, white was clutch when they needed to be. So I'm going to say, like, uh, a thousand. 
I got like good vibes about this, like a thousand. They found enough obvious moves. Their end game, a thousand to eleven hundred. I'm, I, it, it, you know what? If they're nine hundred, that's if they're anything below nine hundred, very impressive, very impressive. Let's see, eleven hundred. Yeah, thanks. I yeah, I know gamer. Yeah, you've been telling me. Yes, thank you very much. Eleven hundred. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Let's keep it moving. I'm having a good time. I am having a good time. All right, all right. Let's go. Oh, my grandparents messaged our WhatsApp group. They sent us some forwarded group Russian message. Thank you, Arch Gunner. Thank you, guys. All right. We have a London. Night D2. Okay, yes, good stuff. Knight c6 is not a good move. But if you play bishop d3, it's a blunder now. Wow, good job. So why is this a blunder, ladies and gentlemen? Because you take the bishop, and then the bishop... Can, the knight cannot be retaken, because your bishop would hang. And if you take this, then boomerang knight. Oops. So that would be a blunder. So this is actually kind of an annoying setup by black. Um... Generally, what you do against knight c6 is you have to play e3 and c4. Also, why you should delay knight d2. The meta strategy of the London is to play e3 here, or knight f3. Because like something like this, you can immediately play c4. It's going to be like one of the top moves. Or bishop b5 to pin the knight and then play like knight f3, etc. But c4 is also good. Um, anyway. Uh, somebody said boomerang or take the rook. Uh, both. This is a rare case you can actually take the rook. But I was more trying to focus on the tactical pattern. Anyway, yes, you can also take the rook. But the thing is, if you take the rook, the knight will die. And then I'm not sure you're going to win that position. It's better to just be up a bishop than take a rook, but then lose your knight in the future. Okay, here come a bunch of exchanges. Uh-huh, that's just the free pawn. But okay. Nobody sees it. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Okay. Good. That queen is gonna get trapped, I feel like. Uh oh. That. Thank you. Thank you, shy guy. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to take this chance to congratulate. Oh, en passant. Oh, look at that. The bishops were gonna get butchered. But then. Damn. Up, oh, up, oh, nice. Bishop h4. You missed bishop h4. Pin. If bishop takes c3, do you take? No. You go here, because your queen has to guard the bishop. And now, three things hang. And it's even better. Alright. So rook d1, rook d1. Bishop h4. Nice, you spotted it. Good. Clean. Okay, that's a terrible move, but that's an even worse move. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you play this move? Why not just move your king? What is the why? Is why did you do this? Now, by the way, obviously black takes because black is like eight hundred. Black doesn't actually realize that they can just apply more pressure to the pin piece. Chess has a saying which would get you thrown in jail anywhere else. Um, it's put PP on the PP. It's, it's, it's put, put pressure on the pin piece. So PP on the PP. Um, like if you say that in a public park, you'll probably go to jail. Um, but put pressure on the pin piece. So if you have a spitting problem, you can also, you know, you got to put pressure on the pin piece. So yeah, PP on the PP. So Bishop takes F2 and, um, yeah, of course. Oh, wow. That is a savage move. Look at that move. If rook f2, we just promote gangster stuff. It, it loses, it just loses a pawn, but, but instead, oh, and you, oh, look at this ending. Oh my gosh. Nice. Wow. Wow. Nice find. You got like super lucky, but oh, I mean, that's the thing. When you're like a thousand, you make beauty out of poop. 
It's like, it's the amazing thing. Like, some, you know you know what I mean? You play a game like this as a 1000, you go, yo, I'm finally starting to get this fucking game. That was a live sensor. Did you like that? And then you go to the computer and it's like E7, blunder. Like, you think it's like a genius move? Because you're like, yo, if they take, I promote. Oh my God. Boom, boom, boom. And then Stockfish is like, yeah, E7's a blunder. And you're like, ah, puta madre. You know, you just like, you just, you just, no. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> okay. So, based on the handling of London, I would say like 1,000 to 1,100. Um, then the game was a little bit of a cluster fark. Uh, it was a little bit all over the place. But, I mean, I think 1,000, like, makes sense. I think there was enough... I mean, Rook F2 is, like, one of the worst moves I've ever seen in my life. I think just for Rook F2, I lower it down to the 900s. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Just because you played Rook F2, you're, you're, it, you're between 8 and 900. Like, you're either 800 or 900. All right, let's go check it out. Um, if you play Rook F2 as a 1,000, like, you, you should... You should, like, spend, like, 24 hours in jail. 900! Yeah, wow, look at that. Literally 900. 944 versus 932. I, like I said, if you're a 1,000 playing Rook F2, you need, to, you need to go to prison. That's... But, uh, wow. Wow, yeah. 900s. That was, that was cool. That was good. Yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was a while. Let's see how long this person spent on Rook F2. Let's see. How long does White spend on Rook F2? Yo! All right. I'm gonna curse for like the first time in the history of Guess the Elo. You people need to stop doing this shit, okay? You play 15 minute games and convince yourselves that you are actually putting in good work. It is the 28th move of the game. You are still at 1420. Are you, do you have a plane to catch? Are you playing this before you have to put on airplane mode? What is wrong with you for God's sake? What is wrong with you? How fast do you need to do this? Play bullet if you're if you're so stressed over time. I mean, are you out of your goddamn mind? Are you out of like stop faking that you're playing rapid? You're not playing rapid. You're rapidly playing. That's what you're doing. You you bozos. And then you're like, why am I 900? Because you're basically playing a chess speed run. Oh my god. And how long did Black spend on rookie eight, by the way? So Black gained 10 seconds, which means Black spent 13 seconds on that move and blundered made in three. Fascinating. Just, I, I hate, I hate this. I hate this. And you're like, why am I not getting better, Gotham? Uh, maybe because you give yourself 15 minutes on the clock and play a game in two. All right, anyway. Gotham sub in this game. We have a bird. Anyway. Listen, guys, the secret to guess the ELO is I need to go on these passionate rants to keep viewership. You understand, viewership retention is about 50 to 60% on my YouTube channel. Beyond the average viewer of any, uh, viewership of any video. So if I can make a guess the ELO episode like 28 to 35 minutes, and people watch for 17 minutes, do you know how much ad revenue that is? Enough to donate $100,000 to charity, all right? If you don't know about that, Levy Rossman scholarship, look it up. It's on Reddit, chess.com, chess kid. I'm, you know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna build schools. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do a lot of cool stuff with revenue that we make on YouTube. For example, all the money that's made on Gotham City Channel is gonna be donated to charity. Um, I already split it 50-50 with the, with the guy, so... It's not, it's not a huge amount, but, you know. Anyway, Queen takes F4, so that's pretty cool. Imagine playing F4 on move one. Like, imagine, like, actually playing this move and then losing the pawn four moves later. You're like a teenager who just got their first car and the first time they drove it outside, they drove it into a pole. Like, not drunk, just, you know, because the person didn't grade them well enough on the road test. Like, you just play F4 and then you lose the pawn. All right, E3. Yep, now take the center. Take the... Okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God, that queen is gonna... Oh, my God. No way white actually plays queen H5, right? Oh! G6, take it. Does black find queen F7? That's actually a really interesting move because basically you were afraid of this. So you're like, I'm going to trade queens, but you forgot your rook is hanging. Yeah, so you've lost the rook, but you're obviously going to win this knight back because you're just going to play bishop g7. Not a big deal. Now, this is still dynamically balanced. This game is far from... Why would you... Why would you... Why would you... Okay, you already know these are like 600s because like for this configuration to even happen in a chessboard, like you know that these people are like six, five, six hundred. 
Like, you, 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 I mean, come on, right? Like, if, if GMs tried to get to this position, they wouldn't be able to do it. So King F8. <clears throat> I feel like White is going to lose both those pieces. Black must win this game, right? Because this is a guess the ELO game. Oh my god. Black is down eight points of material. Okay, they're... Oh, that's deceiving. That's actually genius. Okay, so we have the option to take the knight and lose the bishop. Instead, we just lose the bishop for free. We, we are generous. We're just going to lose the bishop for free. Oh my god. <clears throat> I can't wait to see Black's comeback. Black has to win this game, right? Oh, there it is. All right, here's my prediction. White absolutely freaks out, like moves the rook or a pawn, and black just goes here and destroys everything. Like takes on g2 in the future. Oh my, it's, guys, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna get so crazy. Okay, that actually is a really good move. I'm really confused. Oh. Wait, where's the comeback? How are you gonna make a comeback here? Oh, it, maybe, maybe knight f6 and blunder the rook? I could see that. Yo, the king's in the middle, bro. Knight f6. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, it's check. I bet you, I, I, yo, when we look at this game, if we have uh, timestamps, I guarantee Black didn't even see the check. I guarantee Black was like, yo, what's happening? Oh my god. This is now, okay, king d5. Oh my, rook c, yes, I knew this was gonna happen. And now, oh, and now the rook and the bishop are gonna destroy everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm waiting. I'm so ready. Oh, that knight is dead. That knight is dead. Oh, but the bishop's dead. Oh, but the, oh, but the bishop is dead too. Wait. Oh, I know what's going to happen. It's going to be this and this. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my God. White thought that they were really clever. They were like, Gotham always says to make... Well, I don't know. White doesn't subscribe to my channel. But White is like, they always say to make a little fort for your king. So I'm making a fort for my king. That's just like my favorite YouTuber said. And then they're like, bruh. <laughs> oh my God, this is so devastating. <clears throat> oh my God. Yeah, guys, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta make a fort where like no pieces can mess with you. Oh my goodness. Also, I love how this move just makes no sense, like at all. Like, what are we even doing? What are we doing here? You just want the rooks to say hi to each other? Yo, if you see your back rank is about to get clapped, like, you gotta go back to the back rank. Just go guard the back rank. All right. Um, like, they're in the 600s or they're in the 500s. I mean, I, I don't even know. They're in the 6 or 500s. Like, the, they're, the, if this game is in the 700s, I, I, y'all need Jesus. No. No, no, y'all both 1100? No, was this a bullet game? Please tell me it was bullet. Okay, at least it was three minute. Okay, at least it was three minute. Okay, 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 okay. I, I mean, but, 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 bro. Y'all really 1100? Veldine. Veldine, did you drink before this game? Did, did you did you did you like talk to your opponent about being on Gaz the Elo? Oh wow. Did White lose this game in time trouble? Okay. Let's go see. Let's go see, let's go see. How long did how long did Black spend on this move? Oh, two seconds. Never mind, I stand corrected. You actually knew it was check. Oh man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Valdine, I get it. I get it. I get it. I made fun of you because I thought maybe you were low rated, but 30 seconds on the clock will make people do some wild stuff. I respect it. I respect it very much. This was good content. I like this game a lot. By the way, if, if at any point <clears throat> you feel like, you know, you've dedicated a lot, a lot of your life um, to learning chess and we all collectively make fun of your game, um, you understand that is really the point of Guess the Elo. Like, I remember I pinned a comment on my YouTube channel once that was like, <clears throat> you know, you get very offended when people say negative things about you, but you make fun of people all the time in Guess the Elo. First of all, <clears throat> if you ever think I'm actually getting offended about anything, you have absolutely no idea how to read a sense of humor, which is fine. Not everybody is, you know, not everybody can read sarcasm or everybody's allowed to think what they want. 
Um, but uh, on on the other hand, like guess the elo is a group therapy. Okay, it's a group therapy. That's what it is. All of us laugh about this existence that we are subjecting ourselves to on the 64 squares. Some of us are 100, some of us are 2,900, and all of us are meme lords, and all of us are in this together. Okay? That's, so some of us volunteer as tribute, get made fun of, and the world keeps on spinning. If you feel offended, like if you're like, I hate chess, Gotham made fun of me, thought I was like 600 points lower than I actually was, you knew what you were getting yourself into when you submitted one of the worst games you've ever played. Like, please, you know what I mean? Like, like, if, if, if you tell me a story of one time you were drunk and you pooped all over your floor instead of the toilet, I'm not going to think you're a weirdo who has a pooping on the floor fetish. I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. It was one bad, it was one bad go around. I don't think you need to be put in diapers or, or something, okay? Anyway, um, last game of Guess the Elo. Um, you know, so D6. <clears throat> uh, D4, uh, sorry, Knight F3, Bishop G4, Bishop E2. All right, very strategic. Thank you. Thank you, Malzeth. By the way, I'm kind of scared because Velda, the the last person who Veldine, who we just looked at that game, has not written a message in the chat. I'm like really scared. Veldine like ran away because they were sad. Please don't. I'm, I don't be sad. Everybody gets made fun of equally, including myself in my own recaps. Um. Okay. Queen. Oh. Okay. This is kind of like a weird Pierce. It's a weird Pierce, kind of. Bishop e7. Bishop e3. Castles. d5. Okay, so black wants to play g6, f5. Here's the problem. Um, black doesn't have a light squared bishop anymore. You actually need a light squared bishop in, in these structures. a6. Okay, so yeah, black doesn't actually... Oh my god, look at this. h6, look at this. Knight h7. This is galaxy brain type stuff. Now, you know your opponent wants to go here, so you should just defend the pawn. And then strategically, this is a problem for black. Instead, you play h5 and completely justify what black wants. So, that doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? Uh-huh. Okay, wow, bishop f5. Camera froze? Did it really? Oh wow, we have everything in this episode of Guess the Elo. Why did my camera freeze? Valdine hacked my camera. Okay. Jesus, what a great episode. Queen e8. Queen e2. Wait a second. Hold up. Look at all of Gotham Sub's last moves. So Gotham Sub plays a terrible move, then proceeds to play top engine move, top engine move, and here just plays Queen e2 for like no reason. What does this move even do? The luckiest top stockfish move of all time? Or what? Okay, that's not complex. Just take the pawn. Yeah. Okay, this should be six. Queen. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm very scared. Wow. Knight d5. Good move. Um, okay, so as a human, this is my instinct. No way white actually put... Wow, white actually triples their own pawns? Wow. Wow. Fork? Ro rook F7. I would have probably played Rook F7, even though the engine hates it. I would have probably played Rook F7. That's why I was so shocked. Yeah, white is definitely cheating because they took a position from plus 7 to plus 2. Um, oh, another raid! Shout out to Ben. Getting raided by everybody today. I never get raids. I always get raids from channels with like 20 viewers who just like... Stick around and want to get shoutouts. So, guys, White is not cheating. We're recording our last episode of Guess the Elo. Uh, la last uh, game, not episode. Okay, how is White going to break through? Okay, um, million dollar question. No, no, no. I was going to say, is this a winning endgame? It's not because you don't have your down pawns. So, Queen F6. Oh, now you can do it. The same idea. Queen f6, here, and then take, and then push pawn. Push pawn. Okay, of course, white doesn't see. Instead, white is just going for the goodies. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my, what is white doing? What is white? What is white doing? What is white doing? What is white doing? 
Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Wait, what is... Okay, it, 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 it took a little while, but we're getting there. I think we're getting there. I don't know why it's lagging now. It, 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 the computer hates everything White is doing to the point that it's just lagging a lot. Yeah, why is it lagging? This is so weird. It's never lagged. It, it's like, there we go. Oh, no, it's lagging again. Ew, this is like so glitchy. Okay, finally. What a weird game. What a weird game. Um, what a weird game. I have no clue. I mean, that was just such a strange... Wow. Wow. What a weird game. Like eleven to twelve hundred, maybe. Maybe I don't know. This is such a strange game. White played like random stockfish moves and then played like a nine hundred. White cheated using the engine the first half. Yes, yes, yes. That makes makes make yeah, perfect sense. Yeah, I'm gonna say like, wow. If I can guess this right, I will be shocked. Because white played a bunch of moves that made no sense, and then white played a lot of moves that made a lot of sense. Like tripling your own pawns. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna say like 1100. I'm gonna say like, um, 11. But that technique was awful. Yeah, I'm gonna say 1100. Let's go check. White is 1900. Alright, I should. No, no. No, 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 why did, no, 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 